It's uh, Power Slave 88 here. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I get a lot of requests for lessons uh, on certain songs, and one of the ones I get requested the most is Jet City Woman by Queen Shrike. Uh, so I figured, you know what the hell, I'm going to take for it. Um, so it's not going to be a sort of fancy bells and whistles sort of lesson, you know, with close ups of the fretboard and tabs running underneath and, you know, all that stuff. It's not going to be like that. I don't have the equipment or the know how to do that. Um, so it's just literally just going to be like this. Hope it's alright and you get enough out of it. If you need me to answer any questions, go ahead and uh, write them in the comment boxes underneath um, and I'll do my best uh, to address them. Um, so yeah, let's take a, take a look at it. We're going to look at the uh, intro lick first. Uh, we're going to split it into two sections. So the first section, it starts off with uh, some harmonics. Okay, So you're going to be on the B string to start with. Then you're going to do a 12th fret harmonic. All right, so that is literally just leaning or resting, sorry, your finger over the top of the fret, directly above it. Uh, and you're going to do the 12th fret first, followed immediately by the 7th fret. Okay? Kind of like that. All right. You want it to be nice and tight, no mess, messy things, no string, no string noise or anything like that going on. Uh, just nice and, nice and tight harmonics, okay? So that's going to be your first bit. All right? Such. You might want to use this hand to mute some of those strings, okay? As such. Um, then you're going to do the 12th fret of the high E string, uh, and with this harmonic, you're going to you're going to want to make it really short and really sharp, kind of like a palm mute essentially on that harmonic, a bit like that, okay? That was a bit long actually, but it's followed immediately by the 12th fret of the B string, okay? Um, so it sounds a little bit like this, you get... So it's nice and short, that 12th fret of the E string, it's nice and short before you go in. Um, when you're on that B string again, if you've got a tremolo arm, uh, you're going to want to dip it twice. Okay. Um, you don't want to go crazy and go all the way down and back up again, it's nothing like that, it's just a gentle tap of the bar really. Um, and you're going to do it twice, it's this rhythm. Okay. Sounds kind of cool. Uh, if you don't have a tremolo arm, just don't worry about it. Just leave it. Okay. Um, after that 12th fret of the B string, you're then going to do the 11th fret, 11th fret of the B string, uh, and you're going to do a half step bend up and back down. It's like a repeat bend, uh, four times over, I think. Okay. It sounds a little bit like this, like that. Okay. Uh, it's a nice even rhythm. Okay. So you're not going to go. None of that, it's going to be nice and even. Okay. Okay. Um, don't go too far with it, it's only a half step. You don't want to go. Oh, oh God, no, no, you don't want any of that. So just half step. And after you pull, pull down um, for the last time, your last note of that little phrase is going to be the ninth fret of your B string. Okay. So I mean, I do that bend with my third fret, uh, sorry, third finger, and then my first finger is going to take care of that ninth fret. So it'll be okay, and give it a nice little bit of vibrato. Um, just a note on the vibrato in this song: Chris garmo has got a really nice controlled vibrato, so you don't want to be going. I want to be hearing that, okay? Um, I mean, that might be all well and good for some blues playing and things like that, but for this song, you're going to have to be nice and controlled. It's all about feel, okay? Um, so don't start the vibrato straight, straight away, just keep it, you know, nice and level. Just at the end there, a little shake. So, so far we've got this. string and that's going to be followed again by the ninth fret of the B string. So I'm going to use my first finger for the seventh fret and my third finger for the uh, ninth fret. Again a nice little 
little bit of vibrato there. Um, like that. Okay, and that's going to be followed by a bend, alright? And it's going to be on the 4th fret of the B string. What's B string in this intro? Look. 4th fret of the B string. And again, it's going to be a half step up to the 5th fret. Okay. Um, it sounds a bit like this. It's not really quick, it's just... Uh, but it's not really slow either, it's just it's sort of in the middle. Like that, so you get... Okay, that's what you, that's your next little uh, few notes there. Um, this next bit, I think it's a bend on the record, I think he does, but I don't do it like that, I, I do a sort of quick slide. Um, it's just more comfortable for me, I think it still sounds you know, pretty accurate. Um, so it's up to you which way you want to do it. I'm going to teach you the, the slide way anyway. Okay, I'm going to do a really quick... It's going to be really quick, so I'm going to do 2nd fret of the B string, up to the 4th fret, and back down again. Okay? Like that. Now you can bend it, 2nd up to 4th and back down again, but again I just choose to slide it. It's, it sounds nice to me. Okay? Okay? And then your whole first section of this intro is going to end with a, a natural harmonic. It's going to be on the fourth fret of the B string. Really screaming harmonic, that one. So you're going to play it there. And then you're going to slowly dip that bar all the way down, okay? Kind of like a real slow dive bomb, dive bomb there. So, oh, blimey, not like that. Okay. You're going to want to stop the string, kill the string, before you, you bring your bar back up. So you don't want... You don't want that. You want to kill it before the, you get the um, release of the bar. Alright, so you can do that with, with this hand. You just rest your hand over the strings there, okay? So that bit there is going to sound like this. You're going to go... So, like that, okay, oh, it looks like I'm getting a text. So, that, there it is. So that's your first part of your intro lick, okay, so as a whole, it sounds a little like this, okay. realise a lot of the fingerings I just said, I don't actually do, I mean I don't really get hung up with the fingerings in this uh, intro lick, it's just really whatever's comfortable for me at the time. Um, so just, you know, whatever's comfortable for you, do it that way, okay, as long as you're getting a nice clean sound um, and uh, everything's nice and tight and you're not getting any string noise there, okay. So that's the first part of your intro lick, alright. Okay, so here's the first part of the intro lick, nice and slow as well, okay? It sounds like this. Okay, so the next part of your intro lick um, is kind of cool. This is when the full band kicks in. All right, so you've done. You just finished with your dive bomb on the uh, on the harmonic of the fourth fret of your B string. Uh, you are going to start this next bit. It's going to be a unison bend. All right. You're going to have your first finger on the fourth fret of the E string, and your third finger is going to be on the uh, sorry seventh fret of the B string. All right. And you're going to bend that 7th fret up. You don't want to bend the 1st fret, you're just going to bend the 7th fret up so that it creates the same um, uh, sound as the 4th fret. Okay. Like 
Uh, it's cool if it's not quite there because you get that sort of really dissonant sound. Really dirty as hell, okay? Uh, you don't want it to be, you know, miles off. Quite tolerable, okay? So you want to get really close. Okay, so that's your first bit. And then you're going to do two more unison bends. The first one's going to be uh, sixth fret of your uh, E string with a bend from the uh, ninth fret of your B string. It's going to be kind of a quick one. And then the next one's going to be the seventh fret of your E string with a bend from the tenth fret of your B string. So you get. So, oh, gross, okay. Then you're going to do the same thing again, but this time. Okay, instead, instead of doing the uh, last one on the seventh fret of the E string with a bend from the tenth fret of the B string, you are going to do it from the ninth fret of the E string and a bend from the twelfth fret of the B string. Okay, the first two unison bends are exactly the same. Same rhythm as well, okay? So that's your section there. Give you a little uh, taste of that. Can't believe it, I think I'm getting another text. Always during a lesson, eh? Anyway, sounds like this. Okay? So that's your first part. Then, you're going to do this next bit. You're going to do another unison bend, alright? Yeah. It's going to be the... Um, 11th fret of the E string and the 14th fret of the B string. Okay. You're going to keep that 14th fret bent. Okay. And on top of that, you are then going to um, pick the 14th fret of your E string with your little finger. Okay. So it's going to sound like this. Really dirty, really filthy. It screams. Okay. You're then going to re-pick that 14th fret of the B string that you've still got bent up, okay? And then you're going to bend it down, okay? Okay. Like such, okay? Now when you bend it down, okay? Okay, you're going to come down from it, you're going to come down from it, and then you're going to quickly pull off onto the 12th fret, and then hammer on back onto the 14th fret, okay? Or you can pick the 14th fret, I think I pick it, so... Like that, okay? Okay, then you're going to do uh, a really quick hammer on and pull off. Okay, it's going to be 12th fret, 14th fret, 12th fret. Okay, like that. And then you're going to slide it down to the 11th fret. It's all on the B string. Okay. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then you're going to do the 12th fret of the B string, which then pulls off onto the 11th fret. And then you get the 11th fret of the G string. Okay. Nice and slow. And then what's that followed by? That's what it's followed by. It's followed by the 14th fret of the E string and you're going to bend that up. Hold tight. Okay. Okay, you're going to come back down from that bend. I mean, I give it a little quarter tone bend right at the end as well. Just a tiny little one. Okay, and then you get this, you get some fast, faster uh, picking here, you're going to go 12th of the E string, 14th of the E string, like that, 
Then you're going to go 11th of the E string and 12th of the E string. Okay. And I think I play it position wise slightly to, uh, different to Degarmo here. Um, same notes though. Okay. So after that 11, 12, I then go 9, 11. Okay. There's another text. So, so far we've got. Okay, 12, 14, 11, 12, 9, 11, okay. And then I'm going to end the whole thing on the 12th fret of the B string. Okay, just give it a little bit of a brato as well. Remember, nothing too crazy. Nothing like that. Just nice and controlled, real slow. Okay, so you get Okay, so your whole second part of your lick then, your intro lick, is going to sound a little like this Second part of this intro lick real slow um, as well, okay? It sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> 